Yes, Lord, in the This is a communion service. This is a thanksgiving service. Plead the blood over your life. Plead the blood over your life. Plead your life. Plead the blood over your family. Plead the blood. Lift your voice. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Akapata labada in the labade sabre de rebede de de bese rebende brende lebede sabe alinda brando ma de brende rebede brendo lebrende de brende in the bada in the bada bado sabe in the bada bade in the brando bade lebe rebebe bado sabe riendebe riendebre de me riendebre de sabre de lebrende lebedo ma de brende lebebe bado sabe rebede me lebede me lebede me lebede me lebrende in the name of the Lord Jesus, we play the blood over our lives today. We plead the blood over your church today. Let the blood cleanse us. Let the blood wash us today. Let the blood give us inheritance among the saints. Let the blood reset us up again. Let the blood bring us up again. Let the blood reinstate us again. We have gathered today to play the blood. A day by unto thee will the gathering of the brethren be. Today we have gathered to play the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. Ali Gada, Ali Gada Baha, Ila Gada Branda La Gada, Ila Gada Branda, Ria de Branda de Branda, Ria de Branda de Branda, and the Branda de 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 Branda de
Mazakale, Riabadebe, Labada Brande, Mazakade, and in the Bade, Mazakale Behaya, and the Bade Maka. Lift your voice and plead the blood. Lift your voice and plead the blood. A Kabado, Mahaya, in the Bade, Mazakale Behaya, Ale Branda, Arianta Brande, Alinda Dere. La branda le brande, alla danda haya, e la branda me ribica bahaya, e la branda, alinda brando sada, alinda brande, la brande, ria brande brande saye, ria brande brande, inda brande be, e la brande, la brande me ribica brande, inda brando ma zika la brando saye, alinda brande, e kabada, let the blood liberate us, O Lord, let the blood bring healing today, let the blood give us life today, let the blood bring healing and deliverance today, touch us with your blood. E Mazenda Bahaya, Alo Kadis Kabahanda, E Badis Adahaya, in the name of the Lord Jesus, it is all about the blood, it is all about the blood, it is all about the blood, Alo Badesa Baha, E Makenda Bahaya, Akapata, Riabada Kaba, Riabada Dabraha. La branda rianda daba, la branda rianda da brada, le banda daba, le branda de mi kaba, alinda brada bada, la bada branda de mi ha, alinda brada, le kete pehe, rianda da de haya, e la branda ba de mi kaba, alinda brada ma zekete, rianda da de, rianda brada, la branda de mi ha, la branda ba de mi kaba, la bada branda de mi ha, le kete tende, la bada ka haya, alika pa ha, alinda ba ha, alinda ba ha, alinda ba ha, alinda ba ha, e kapata, all over the building, all over the building. Lift your voice. Lift your voice and plead the blood. Plead the blood. The blood speaks better things than the blood of Abel. It is the blood. It is the blood. The blood gives life. The blood brings healing. The blood brings deliverance. Eba Zekaba. Unto him shall our gathering be. Our gathering here today is unto you, O Lord. Aleba Saha. Akata Pahanda, he cut the Behanda, Riadada Branda La Bahaya, in Labade Kabaha, a Labade Kabaha, a Labade Kabaha, a Labade Kabaha, a Labade Kabaha, in Lagada Badosa, a Leda de Branda de Brade, Rianta Branda Bade, Riada de Branda de Brade, Aluanda de Brahaya, Alinda Bradosa, and Tabadiska, Alinda Badada Haya, Libada Branda de Brade, Ibabado, Ibabado Saba, Riabada Brado Saba, Alinda Bradevada, Rianda. La branda, 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 la Rejoice in the Lord, my heart will rejoice in the Lord. Leba do di and the light, kabaita leri and the light. In the lebra do ma zinda bahaya, hey kabadeka, in the badeka da bahaya. My heart will rejoice in the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be on my lips. A leba do sama, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord will deliver him from them all. As you have gathered today, may the Lord bring deliverance by his word. Akabado Sabaha. Hey, Randaba. All over the building. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Kayadaba Dagadabahana. Ikapate Lebranda Lebeha. La branda rianda la braha, ale kaba de la bahaya, ala da ba de rianda la bahaya, ila kada branda rianda la ba, la ba da branda la ba da, e la ba da la bahaya, inda la branda rianda la ba, le kada da branda le ba dosa, ale da branda ma kada baha. In the Brahanda Badesa, a Linda Bradu Mazuka Bahaya, in Kabade Mazekehe, a Legada Bahaya, in Kabada Dabaha, Labrandaria Dalabrahaya, in Lagadabaha, Labada Dabaha, in Labranda Libaha, Labranda Labaha, Libandaria Dalabaha, Libada Branda Labaha, Riabada Brada, Rabada Branda Labaha, in Labada, Rabada Branda Labaha, 
the blood actually began flowing before the foundations of the world it speaks in this service the blood is going to speak in your life i said the blood is going to speak in your life jesus with all humility i want you to lift your right hand as we pray for five minutes the blood may it enter flows to every mountain may it reach every valley enter every hole then the Lord, may the Lord bring my destiny out. May the Lord bring my blessings out. Amen. May the Lord bring my healing out. Amen. May the Lord bring my promotion out. Amen. If I am not walking right with God, 
May the blood bring me up. Yes, Lift your voice for the next few minutes and begin to pray. Lift your voice. Oh, yes, the blood flows. 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 The <laughs> Lift up your voice, Abayade, Yakosi Adaba, Yamanda Labayadaba, Yakali
Blessing the name of the Lord for the works of the cross. Royal Bethel. There is this Pentecost song that is very common. I'm sure we all remember it. Beautiful Savior. Glorious one, we bow to you and give you glory. Who is like you, our Lord, King of glory? We worship you. like you, our Lord, King of glory, we worship you.
Near the cross, I'll watch and wait. Near the 
the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a day that the Lord has made. The Bible says we should rejoice and be glad in it. I want you to look at your friend sitting by you, your neighbor by you, whom you have seen for a while, and tell him that the Lord is good to us. He has been good to us. He shall continue to be good to us. You can shout a good amen. amen. Beloved, this is a communion service. And we bless God for what he has begun already. And we know that in this meeting, we're going to receive a touch. If you came with any sickness, any disease, as his intensified presence has engulfed this gathering, the diseases are leaving your body. Oh, come on, shout a good amen. You are not living here the same. Hallelujah. This morning, we are so much blessed to have some fathers in our midst. And our chairman for today, Apostle, our area head, has given me the opportunity to acknowledge them. Then after that, I shall hand over the rest of the service to our area Apostle. Beloved in the Lord, today... 
In this service, we have here Bishop Dr. Nana Ayani Buedum, the General Overseer for Jesus Generation Ministry. Put your hands together for our Father. He happens to be a close ally and a brother of our professor and mommy, Florence Ladi. And we also have Pastor Hammon from the Assemblies of God Church. Olumai, God bless you. Papa, God bless you. We have here one of our elders, Elder Oko Asamoa from the Church of Pentecost, Ayenku Labi in Late. Chenku, Chenku Labi. Latte, all the way from Latte. Elder, God bless you for coming. And she came with, he came with a wife, Mama Janet. Mama Janet is also here. Mommy Janet, yeah, let's acknowledge our mommy. And we also have his junior brother, Mr. Joshua AJ. Can we acknowledge you? God bless you. God bless you all the way from Latte. Joining Professor and his family as they come to fellowship with us, showing their appreciation to God for all that the Lord has done. We also have the senior sister of Professor, Reverend Professor Labi. Mommy is here. Mama, a queer and you. Please, Oledi, Oledi is here. Let's put our hands together for Mommy. Yeah, Mama, God bless you. The church want to see you. Professor is revered here, and everybody want to see you. God bless you, our Mommy. And we also have our Mama, late Mama Florence Labi's sister, Mama Justina Daku, she's also here. Yeah, already, yeah. When we went to the family house, she was very instrumental, helping us. God bless you, Mommy, for coming. We want to acknowledge all those who came here today because of our Reverend Professor Labi and his family. And we want to say that God richly bless you for coming. We acknowledge your presence and all of you, we are, we are duly acknowledged. I want you to turn to your friend by him, give him a boza or a wave, a boza wave or a spring finger wave and tell him that you are welcome into the intensified presence of the Lord. Oh, come on, look at somebody, tell him again, tell him again. Look at someone, tell him again. Come to the intensified presence of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Beloved in the Lord, we also have here our professor.
God who have come to support him. And this morning, uh, originally my name was on the program to minister this morning. Uh, but yesterday we received an, an august visitor. Um, though he's not, a, he's not a stranger, he's one of us. Uh, I felt that he came all the way from Cape Coast. He was here with us yesterday morning. He was here with us. Uh, he accompanied us to the Holy Village at Latte. And then this morning, he is back here with us. And so, uh, in consultation with the leadership, I strongly felt that he must minister to us this morning.
everything I see. When, mm, mm, We are taking a reading from 1 Kings chapter 19. 1 Kings chapter 19. I'll read the first eight verses from the New International Version. 1 Kings chapter 19, the first eight verses. And then IV cast a title, Elijah flees to Horeb. Now Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah had done. And how he had killed all the prophets with a sword. So Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say, May the gods deal with me, be it ever so severely. If by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like that of one of them. Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. When he came to Belsheba in Judah, he left his servant there. By himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. He came to a broom bush, sat down under it and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, he said. Take my life. I'm no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the bush and fell asleep. All at once an angel touched him and said, get up and eat. He looked around, and there by his head was some bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. He ate and drank, and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank, strengthened by that food, he traveled 40 days and 40 nights until we are in that situation. In the story that we read, we take a little bit of background, we know that Elijah had stood for the Lord, a great soldier of God. In a time when people were fleeing, in a time when people were giving up, people, prophets were hiding in caves, 
he stood up as a soldier for the Lord. Proclaim judgment on the nation of Israel and pronounce that for three and a half years there was a period of drought. And at the end of the period, he shows up again. And to cut a long story short, he ordains a divine contest. You know, a divine contest between the sovereign God and the gods that they want to worship, the Baals that they are going after. Then, having overcome single-handedly, he caused, you know, a revival in the nation and the worship after he had killed the prophets of Baal. And when he, he stood for the Lord and the fire of the Lord came, there was a great revival. The people fell down and worshipped the name of the Lord and proclaimed that the Lord he is God. For me, that was a great revival that came as a result of one man standing for God and all others. May I encourage you that when all are even bowing down to the bowels of this world, may you determine in your mind that I will stand for God. I will make a difference no matter where I find myself. It may be in the thick darkness. And I always say that, you know, light is needed in a time of the thick darkness. If someone, as we are here, somebody walks into this auditorium carrying a candle, I believe that the ushers will stop the person and believe that what is wrong with you? Maybe you are in the wrong place. But if we were in the night and the lights had gone off and the same person comes in with a candle, maybe he'll be cheered because he had come with something. So don't, don't, don't give up and say that you don't know my situation. Where I am, it's so dark. Where I am, there's so much corruption. Where I am, uh, there is nothing good over there. That is where you let your little light shine and it will make all the difference. Amen. So Elijah single-handedly brings this revival and the slaughter, the, 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 the slaughter of the prophets of Baal and everything goes on. He proclaims the end of the drought, intercede of the return of the rains and the rains came. And then under a great action of God, he on foot outran the king's chariot. However, like any human being, he had his low moments. After all that great revival and everything, the prophet has his low moments. And that's what I'm talking about this morning. A time of your low moments when the great things have come and gone. I pray that God will still keep us standing. Hallelujah. So, from our reading, we find that Elijah was <laughs> threatened by Jezebel. That woman, Jezebel. Uh, one thing about Ahab, when I read, always I read about Jezebel, and it says that Ahab, edged on by his wife Jezebel. Jezebel was a strong woman. She was an influencer, but an evil. And then he sends a word to the prophet after this great victory. And he threatens him that, look, eh, if you knew what was coming on you, you will find some place to hide your head. Because he's going to kill him. And he invokes the gods and everything. Now, the prophet having received this you know, report was afraid. He was afraid. But I always be wondering. I said, look, if 450 prophets of Baal could not stand you, what about their sponsor? She is a woman. That's why the fact that all the power that she has, the God who brings down the fire is the same God that you have. But well, we are all human beings like Elijah. And so Elijah was like us with his own weaknesses. And then when he heard the news, the Bible says in verse 3 that he fled for his life. The prophet fled for his life. It is usual. We, we, we deem our lives so important that 
when it comes to standing for God, the tendency is to flee. And that is why that, very, that chapter we are using this year in, in Ephesians chapter 6, say, having done all to stand. Having done all to stand. It is important that at the end of the barrel, we must be seen to be standing. Amen. And remember that the enemy of our souls, the Bible says he roars like a lion in order to plant fear in us. He roars, seeking whom he may devour. And I believe that it is one of the things he uses to put fear in us, to intimidate us, so that he weaken our trust in God. That he weaken our trust in God. Again, in our reading, the second thing I want to highlight is that we find Elijah pleading for death. Oh, God, I think I've seen enough. Just take me away. Just end my life. And it, 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 it happens when you get into such situations. If he wanted to die, maybe he should have just waited for Jezebel. I don't think that he wanted to die in a way. So we find him despotently sitting under this broom tree. That's despotent. And giving up. Lord, I think I've seen enough. And then praise that it is enough. Lord, take my life. And I want to reiterate the fact that it is common in a time of discouragement, fear, and despondency to wish for death. And I've seen people in that situation. I, uh, by God's grace, I've trained as a counselor and I've handled people who you think should be but they have come to a point where they feel that I think I've seen enough. I just want to go. It's time to go home. But then you have an encounter with them and you say that there is still a desire to live. It is just the things of this world that is crushing them. So he compares himself, as we read, we find him comparing himself to his fathers. He says, I'm not better than my fathers. And I am asking myself the question, which of the fathers is he comparing himself to? I'm not better than my fathers. Which of them is he comparing himself to? May I point out here that as a believer, you are an individual. And you will stand before God to quote, each to give an account of what he or she has done in the body. We are individuals. Don't compare yourself to, I'm not better than this elder, this pastor, this prophet who, in fact, gave up. No, 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 no. You have an account with God. You have to stand before God as an individual. Fight your own battles without comparing yourself to anybody else. The battle is yours to stand and to fight and to win. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The scripture says that we should not think of such occurrences as being strange. If you read 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and the verse 13, it tells us, these things, they will come. Don't think, take them to be too strange. I mean, temptations will come. I thank God that there is always a way of escape. There is always a window for victory if we will stand to the end. Amen. And Jesus told the disciples in Matthew chapter 5, verse 12b, when he was talking about persecutions and telling them that others have suffered such things before. Persecutions, they come. And the, those who have gone ahead of us, they've suffered it. And the Apostle Paul will say that is why it is all written so that we can encourage ourselves with these words. That's why it's written for us. And that is why it is so important to stay in the book, to read, and to meditate. And as you stay in it, and you take the examples of the people who have gone ahead, you'll find that this battle, others have fought, fought it, and won. The Apostle James urges us that we should rather count it as a privilege to be counted worthy to suffer with the Lord. Hallelujah. So whatever you are going through, count it a privilege that you too, I too, have been counted worthy to stand for the Lord. 
in this battle. The third thing I want to highlight is God's merciful intervention. God is so merciful. He is a merciful God. In the time of our low moments, he sees us. He knows with what material we were created. He knows our pain. He knows the toil that we are going through. He is such a merciful God. So we find him intervening here. Having laid down out of exhaustion and maybe waiting for the death to come. I don't know from where. He receives an angelic visitation. And what we read in verse 5. An angelic visitation. He just found an angel visiting him. In a time of our low moments, God sends angels. I've been telling people that you have had an angelic visitation before. And some people are saying, no, oh, I've never had an angelic And I said, because you are looking for the wrong angels. Angels don't come carrying wings. Angels come as human beings. God sends his agents to you. And they come with a word of encouragement. They come even with the resources. These are angels. These are what you look out for. Hallelujah. So you've been receiving angels. You've been receiving angelic visitations. In a time when you thought that all is gone, then you find somebody coming in and brings a word that will lift you up from your situation. That is an angel that God has sent to you. So he received this angelic visitation and he was offered nourishment instead of death. He was expecting death. But God sends him nourishment. I pray that this morning, God will send you nourishment. Even as you come to the Lord's table, I pray that God will nourish you. And if your strength is gone, if you have become weak as you come to the Lord's table, may he give you a fresh breath of life. May God so much encourage you. Amen. So he was giving revival instead of extermination. Instead of dying, God decided to revive him. To revive him. Beloved of God, we serve as God's agent to bring such intervention to life of ambassadors. As ambassadors. We are ambassadors of Christ. See yourself as God's instrument, God's angel to somebody in a time of his or her need. Hallelujah. Make yourself available to help those who need. You are the angel that somebody is looking for. Somebody is just waiting for you to say, God loves you. And you would have changed the being of that person. You would have changed the orientation of that person. That word, God loves you. But many a time, we don't avail ourselves for God to use us. So, the next thing is that God, he, he's told to arise and eat. Arise and eat. Arise and eat. He was sleeping. Arise, wake up, wake up. It's not time to die. It's time to eat. So he had to arise and put himself together. Bible says in um, Revelation chapter 2 verse 5, that is, he was telling the church in Ephesus, remember where you fell from. Remember from where you fell. You know, we must arise and Get up, shake yourself up and remember where you fell. What was it that caused you to come to that low moment? It's a point in arising. And I've written here, this potency often comes from a defeated and a, a backsliding heart. This one is, it often comes from a defeated and a backsliding heart. He had come to that point where he felt, he had backsliding in that moment. He had backsliding. As for backsliding, many a times we all backslide. But I want you to slide back into the kingdom. Praise God. Arise! Don't lie in that quick moment. When I say backsliding, it doesn't mean you have gone to sin. But in a moment, you are so hot at this moment, and you find that in a moment, because of maybe two busy schedules, because of the problems of life, you find that you are getting cold. Arise! Arise. 
Because that's not your position. Remember where you fell from and get up there again. God hasn't finished with you yet. Amen. While God's grace is available to hold your hand, you must endeavor to arise. And he was to eat. Eat. It comes from a realization of need. You must realize that I need to eat. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. The Bible says, for they shall be filled. Let there be a hunger in your soul to rise up again. Let there be a hunger and a thirst for the things of God. And that is what it means to arise and eat. You know, you must real unless you real you realize, unless you, you come to the point of feeling hungry, you won't eat. Desire more of God. As a dear panther for the souls, begin to pant for the living God. Begin to thirst for God. Like David will say that, my heart yearns for you, Lord. My heart thirsts for your presence, O oh God. And then we find that the prophet was fed with big cake and water. He was giving cake. He was giving water. Those are the basic needs of life. Food and drink. Food and drink. The basic needs of life. I believe that the, 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 one of the problems of the prophet was that he was weary. He was tired. Maybe he hadn't even gotten time to feed himself and nourish himself after that great encounter. And therefore he was tired. He needed rest. He needed food. There is time for food and there is time for fasting. Can somebody say amen? There is time for fasting. You fasted 40 days. At the end of it, eat and nourish yourself. Nourish yourself. So he said, you should eat. And I, as I was meditating on this, I find that these are the same elements. Bread, wine, you know, food that Jesus gave to his disciples before his crucifixion. He gives them bread and wine. I mean, he gives them, it's a drink and food. That is what he gives to them. A covenantal meal. Beloved of God, what we come to do here is a covenantal meal. It's a, don't just take this lightly. It's a covenantal meal that we enter into to remind ourselves that our Lord shed his blood for us and we are in covenant with him. Then after the resurrection again, we find Jesus providing big bread and fish to the disciples who are Lord their focus. He is always there for his people. Peter had led the People are stray and gone fishing, but Jesus appears on the scene in John, um, the gospel according to John chapter 21, and he gives them, they, they were toiling, come, 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 and they come, and if they find the very things that they were looking for was already provided for them. You have a God who provides. I say you have a God who provides. When you are struggling through life, know that there is a God. The God that you have, the Jesus you have chosen, he is one who is providing all your needs. So after that meal, he restored Peter, who had denied him and abandoned the call back to ministry. Then twice was he fed to ensure he had enough energy. When he, he ate and went to sleep again, but it was in time to sleep. It was in time to sleep. So he woke him, the prophet up again and said, eat some more. Eat some more. Beloved of God, God knows how much strength we need. He needed, he need, knew the amount of strength he needed. He knew that he hadn't had enough. Get up, eat some more. So that you can do the task that lies ahead. Sufficient provision. God knows what we need. And we must always go to him for more. His provision of grace is always sufficient to meet our every need. Hallelujah. What is your need this morning? He has sufficient grace for you. He says, my grace is sufficient unto you. No matter what you are going through, he has enough grace. If you come with a bucket, you get a bucket full. If you come with a spoon, you get a spoonful. If you come with a truck, he'll give you a truck full of grace. Sufficient for the things that you are going through. Hallelujah. Mm. And we find that lastly, the strength that he derived from the provision 
this provision miraculously sustained him for 40 days and 40 nights till he came to the mount of God. 40 days and 40 nights and brought him into the mount of God. The place to have an encounter with God and to receive further commission. Further commission. Beloved of God, I just want to pick up about five applications from here and then sit down. The first of all, whatever need you have in your life, I want you to listen to me. Whatever need you have in your life, God has enough grace to meet that need. Amen. Maybe the past has been one of disappointment. Maybe it brought you pain and loss. I want to tell you from this position that I stand in the presence of God, that God's provision for you will empower you to overcome. It doesn't matter. Maybe you have seen yourself as failing. I want to tell you, as God's agent, as God's angel this morning, that God hasn't finished with you yet. I want to bring you this word and say that God has provision for you to overcome. You will come out and you are coming out. Praise God. Secondly, arise and eat. Appropriate God's provision in his word. He has enough in his word to make you achieve your purpose in life. He's got enough in his word. Just feed it on the word. Just feed. He says, this book of the law should not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night and be careful to do everything that is written in it. And then it will be prosperous. You will prosper, you will prosper. It will be well with you if you stay in the book. If you meditate on it, there is enough provision in this word. Hallelujah. The third thing I want to urge you is get out of your, we have seen it all before. Some of us have that attitude. I've seen it all. We have done some. We have done some. The Lord has used us before. No, 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 no. Get out, get out. That is a place of despondency. That is the place where you stagnate. Get up and move on in God's power and grace. Move on. The Lord has not finished with you yet. The Lord has not finished with you yet. Again, I want to urge you that there are more lands and territories to overcome. Amen. There are more lands. Where you are is just the middle of it. Get up and go further. Launch out into the deep. For God has great grace ahead of you. Lastly, there is an Elisha to be trained or to be imparted for the next generation. He was thinking of dying, but he didn't know that there was, he went, God wanted him to impart an Elisha to take over. So, it is not time to give up. Beloved of God, it is my prayer, it is my humble prayer. That God, that God will rise up. As we come to the Lord's table this morning, I want to urge you, come with a step of faith. Come with a time that I'm going to nourish you. Lord, it doesn't matter what I've gone through in the past. I'm here for your grace. God bless you. Let's stretch forth our hands towards our person and bless him for blessing us with the word of God. Shall we stand and pray? Let's stand and let the choir lead us to sing one song. Thank you, Lord. Let's ponder over the word of God. It says, Arise and eat. Means God, whatever needs we have, God has sufficient grace. His grace is sufficient to take us through and to make us victorious. That is God's word. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood, in the blood. Hallelujah. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood. There is power, power, wonder working power. 
Chile. No. Mm. Let God decide that. Mm. Let God decide when you have had enough, when you have done enough. Leave that aspect to God. Because so long as he makes his grace available and sufficient, you have no business putting it down and being idle yes. and saying I have done enough. Let's pray for grace. Lord, we receive more grace to continue. Yes, Lord. We receive more grace to yes, continue. Lord. Open your mouth and pray. There are more lands, territories to take. We pray for grace, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There are more, there are more souls to be won. There are more, there are more, there are more combat to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. We pray, O Lord. Anoint us today, Makaba, to move on, to move forward. Like a dari and dari a brandori and dalebada. Ila da brandari and dari a baba brandari and da. Ila dali a baba brandari and dari and dalebade. Ila bebe be do sabade gade brande. Ita bade gade brandori and debade. Yes, Lord, help us, Lord, enable us, Lord. Grant us enablement, divine enablement, to Lord. Give us grace, anoint us again. Empower us again. A labor does a bahanda gatabades, a libra domas in the labra dosaba, a lanta bade, gadiza bahanda, e cabado, saginda bahaya, a labra domas in the labra de hosa, e cababa dosaba, a libra dosa bahaya, in the bade, mazinda legade, 
In the name of Jesus. As we get ready to take of the Lord's Supper, we invite Apostle Dr. Nyani Buedum to pray over the word with us. We give a praise. We give a praise. We give a praise. Thank you, Jesus. We give a praise. Yes, Lord. Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. You who was and is and is to come. You who was and is mm. and is to come. The firstborn of all creation. Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Thank you so very much for strengthening us this morning through your word. Yes, Lord. That those of us who were giving up, those of us who for some reason have gone through a lot of anxiety. Oh, yes, Lord. And that we were giving up. Your word has come to resuscitate us. Father, I pray and I commit the saints to you. Be with us every step of the way. Today, we are asking for your presence to be with us every step of the way. Yes, Lord. Today, I pray that your presence shall go with us. Yes, Lord. Wherever we may find ourselves, be with us every step of the way. Yes, Lord. And Father, we shall be very careful of God. To give you the praise. Give you the praise. Feed us, oh God, with your word. Yes, Lord. Feed us, oh God, with the knowledge of the word of God. Hallelujah. And not one man, not one woman, not one boy, not one girl shall leave your presence the same. This and many more blessings we ask for through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Shall we be seated? We thank God for his word. And brethren, we want to remind ourselves that after Elijah had taken of the nourishment, the Bible said he walked in the strength of that food 40 days and 40 nights until he got to the Mount of Horeb. He walked in the strength of that food. Mm. This is the spiritual food. Mm. And we are going to take it and we are going to walk in the strength of this table. Hallelujah. If God wanted to take us heaven straight away after salvation, he would have done so. That as soon as you receive Christ as your Lord and Savior, then he takes you away. But God wouldn't do that because he knows there is work for us to do. He knows there is work, kingdom work. We need resources for kingdom work. And so he continues to feed us with this himself and with his word. So we can walk. Walking in the scriptures is a symbol of activity. Walking is doing something for God. Working for him. And so we want to come to the Lord's table. And whatever you are doing for the Lord, and sometimes you grow weary. Sometimes you think you've, you've had enough. I ye, it is enough. God says, no, ye, it is not yet enough. So you are going to eat this food and subsequently walk in the strength of this food. So you will work physically for God. Whatever God has called you to do in this church and elsewhere, do it. Do it. Just do it. Continue to do it. Paul says we should abound in the work of the Lord. For we know that our labor will not be in vain. Amen. Amen. So, Pastor, will you join me and with the rest of the team as we... Um, okay, let me leave it with you since you know how to organize it here, the Lord's Supper. But let me pray over the table and then let's bow down our head as I pray over the table and then I hand over to Pastor.
our brokenness. We thank you for your word. And we thank you for the blood that you shed for us as we take of the bread and of the wine. Oh, Lord, continue to strengthen our spirit, strengthen our soul, and strengthen even our physical bodies so we can continue to abound in good works for the glory of your name. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And so as Apostle Papa has prayed and commissioned the table, we are coming to take it by faith. And the modality is that our elders are going to assist us. We will we'll be standing at vantage point and the ushers will be ushering you to take your Lord's Supper. As was said by our father during his ministration, this is not an ordinary meal. It's a covenant meal. And so what we do here in this house is that if you have not been baptized in water by immersion, you have to wait. Your time will come. And if you are a second wife or husband of two wives, wait. Your time will come. Now, apart from this, if there is any other thing that is holding you back, the word of God has come. The power in the word has forgiven you. Come and shout amen. amen. And so I want you to come by faith and believe God for grace to continue the good works. Amen. amen. So the elders will help us. There is power, power, wonder-working power. will come to the top. Those of you at the gallery, we are bringing something. I'll show you how to open it. We'll show you how to open it.
Please, shall we be on our feet? Shall we be on our feet with all humility? Inconveniences, so you have to use your hanky to wipe, so that your hand, you can gather some uh, momentum in your fingers to be able to open. So if it's giving you challenges, you can signal the ushers to get you another one. We don't want you to take only the the blood and leave the body, which is the bread. So don't just take the don't just hide your bread because you are not able to open it. So don't be shy. If you are struggling, just call your neighbor. Let your neighbor help you. So this has been prayed upon. So by faith, we take it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They pierced him in his side. They pierced him in his side. They pierced him in his side. Give the Lord a wave. Give the Lord a wave. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Worship Him. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Be on your feet and give God praise. 
to come to your table. Thank you that we are reminded us that there is grace for us to be revived. Grace for us, oh God, to walk and continue to walk the journey. Even as the broken body stands for the broken body of Jesus Christ, we pray that everyone who needs healing shall be touched even in Jesus' name. Amen. We are praying that anyone who is broken in any form will receive your rejuvenation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for the blood, O oh Lord. Yes, the wine stands for your blood. And you said your blood speaks of better things than the blood of Abel. So even as we have come to your table, O oh God, may this blood speak better things in our life. May he speak healing in our lives. May he seek rejuvenation in our lives. May he seek revival in our lives. May he seek new oil in our lives. May every desire of our heart be met even today. Thank you, dear Lord, that today we have had a visitation. May no one leave your presence the same. And may mighty things befall us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and take your seat in heavenly places. Amen. Oh, you can do it better. Put your hands together for he's a good God. He's given us his word. He's given us his body. He's given us his blood. He's given us everything. Hallelujah. At this juncture, beloved in the Lord, we want to bring, Bible say, and we want to as we bring, as we sing and bless God, we are also bringing our tithes and our missions offering. So it's going to be two in one in order to save time. So you realize that the offering bowl has been tacked. One is tight and one with written offering. Missions offering is significant because that is what in the church of Pentecost we used to spread the gospel in internal missions in Ghana and outside Ghana. And currently the Church of Pentecost has taken a lot of territories. The great work done by our immediate past international mission director, who is now our area head apostle, Emmanuel Jesiado. Now the church is all over the nations of the world. This great man, the Lord used him mightily to impact nations. And as he's our area head, PRWC Atomic, we want to support missions more than ever before. Come on, I didn't hear a good amen. amen. So the tithes, we have been doing well. But this month, we want our missions offering to be super. Amen. Look at your friend and say, I want my missions offering to be super. I want my so we wanted to give a good missions offering 
as we support and continue to expand the kingdom business. And these are the rules of engagement. As we are bringing our tithes and offering, give the Lord some dance. Don't just walk so stiff and as if you are afraid and you are scared. Just walk and give God a dance. As you bring it, shake yourself a little. Amen. Amen. Don't be intimidated. Just shake yourself in the presence of the Most High God. Shall we rise to our feet as royal vessels lead us in this session? Hallelujah. Amen. He that sits upon the throne, he deserves a mighty praise. He has won the victory for us. We will sing around. He that sits. Jesus Christ, the Lord, mama ye. Oh my God, Oh Jesus Christ, the Lord, mama ye. Oh, 
praying together for Jesus. Give you praise. to be in the presence of God. P.I.W.C. Atomic is the city on the hill. We are in the hill in the whole of Ghana. We are on the hill. Oh, hallelujah. We bless God for the powerful word our Father gave us. The opportunity is given us to dine with him and the grace he has given. Amen. And our tithe we brought the Lord, the fire of the Lord is going to consume our tithe and the heavens are going to be open for us. We are not living here the same. Hallelujah. Our area apostle has allowed us to invite our dear Reverend Professor E.K. Labi and his family. They have a word to say to God. And so, we want to humbly invite our Father. And because and it's entourage, because the number is huge, some, some can be on the ground, whilst few can come up, and others can stand in front here. Thank you very much. Put your hands together for Reverend Professor in his powerful apparel, expressing his appreciation to the Most High God and his wonderful hearts. My goodness. God is good. And all the time, congregation, rise to your feet with me. And let us give God a resounding voice of praise. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, we will sing a song. Mon sorry, mo Christopher. Titi and you. And to those of you that know how to sing, oh, are you sitting down? Mon sorry, mon sorry, mo Christopher. Na Jesus no di enka eni je mo na ya na. Jesus wrote a time for no. Mon sorry, mon Christopher. Mon sorry, mon Christopher. Na Jesus no di ya. Eni je mon aya na ma. Jesus wrote a time for no. Ikure mende, ikure mende, ikure mende di ya wo. And now the nomination, I want to spend few
his father who was a Baptist missionary here back to Nigeria. And since my Edinburgh University days, we've been friends throughout. On the very night that God called mom, 3rd June, when I was going to the intensive care unit, he was the strong man with me. And he had come for a visit. And when the doctors wanted us to go and see the mortal remains of mommy, and I had some kind of trepidation, he said, let us go. Let us go. He, joined, he comes from, he came to us from above me at Wolowo University. And uh, he, uh, the middle past vice chancellor of the only Baptist University in Nigeria. So, Professor George, thank you very much. And then we also have our Abusia Pahini, a J. Samuel, an inquiry, Ron Walateno, near Abusia Pahini, a J. Samuel. They've also joined us uh, this morning. He's uh, a member of the Church of Pentecost, and we also have an uh, evangelist of Ben Ewuku. He read my mother's biography four years ago at Latte. So now it is my singular honor and pleasure to say a big thank you to the great God. The God that is able to support us and strengthen us when we are down there. The God that wipes our tears. The God that gives us a word when we are in peace. I want to ascribe power, majesty, dominion, praise and worship to his holy name. His grace has been abundantly sufficient from the beginning to the end. So I say thank you. I say also thank you to the pastor and the entire congregation to the leadership of the Church of Pentecost Beginning with uh, the chairman, when the thing happened, they all flocked into our home, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Praying with us and strengthening us. So it is the support of the brethren, of the fellowship, that has sustained us and brought us this far. So the time that we are supposed to be weeping, we saw ourselves singing praise to the almighty God. So thank you very much. Oh, our area apostle, <laughs> the second day, third, fourth, uh, fourth June, he and the leadership of the church were with us and uh, he has also, he has been with us from the beginning up to yesterday and this morning also he is with us. A man that I like so much. <laughs> Even before he became the international mission director, I liked him so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So thank you very much. I think I'm done. But I'm from I left. Eh?
the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, Prof. And the family, they brought a Thanksgiving envelope. So, their Thanksgiving envelope is here. We want to announce that if you have any donation to support this funeral, this afternoon, the family of Prof will be sitting at a Regent Villa from 1.30 p.m. to continue to around 5 thereabouts. And so if you want to pass by as they finalize the celebration of the life of Lady Florence Nabessa Labi, you can pass by and drop your donation. But if for one reason or the other you cannot go, you can hand it over to our finance chairman, Elder, <laughs> Elder Stephen Ousu, or our presiding elder, Elder Evans Ayim, who will collate all together, because we are going there this afternoon, then we'll just give your donation and bring you your receipts. Amen. Prof and Mommy have been, have been with us from the beginning of PRWC Atomic, right from ATTC. And so we want every member to sympathize and to celebrate this life. And so don't let us just do it anyhow. Let's all come together and support this August celebration. Amen. We want to also take the rest of the announcement from our secretary. But before he comes, I want to announce that if the coming of the Lord tarries, we have now resumed having one service beginning today. And so from today, is it not wonderful that when we ha we having the Thanksgiving for our mommy Florence, a good woman, a peaceful woman, we are beginning our one service. And so from next Sunday going, it's going to be one service from 8 p.m. to 10.30 it's going to be power works, prayer time, 8 a.m., sorry, 8 a.m., not 8 p.m., 8 a.m., it'll be 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., going to be prayer time, time for the word, a.m., yes, of course, a.m., 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., and so let's take note of that, and then from now we begin, we began our one service. We want the single service to be full. And then when we begin to overflow, then we shall explore the possibility of having two services full each. And so that is going to be a call for you and I to make sure that all our brothers who are backslidden for one reason or the other, who are sitting at home, shall be brought back to church. Amen. We are also going to revitalize our shepherding strategy and home cell strategies and try to synchronize the two together and launch it as a ministry so that we can increase our attendance for the, the single service so that we can within a shortest possible time have two full services amen so that is going to be work for you and i so let's take note of that now if the coming of the lord tarries sunday we are going to launch our mega of Thank you, Lord, for enabling me to secure a visa to the United States of America. 
this is my testimony. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We asked and you gave. Now we give back to you. We are grateful, Lord. No name, but the Lord knows you. I have come to thank God for raising my child from Kuma after several days. Don't we serve a wonderful God? We thank the Lord for that child. Amen. Now, we want to take the rest of the announcement. Um, if you are worshiping with us, today is the very first time you are joining us in celebration beyond the family of uh, Prof. Labi. We want you to kindly be on your feet so we can um, welcome you in a very special way. Anyone joining us for the very first time in celebration this morning? There's a brother, this way, another sister, another sister. There's a sister. There are two at the gallery, one this way, two this way. Ushers, quickly attend to them. So this is the Pentecost International Worship Center, a ministry of the Church of Pentecost. We meet here every Sunday, as Pastor, as Pastor has said, beginning today, 8 a.m. every Sunday. We thank God that you are here, and whoever invited you, we thank God for the person's life. The ushers will walk you out for a few minutes and hopefully you'll join us before we close. To those who invited them, God bless you richly. And to all of us, let's continue inviting our friends. Amen. Oh, I said amen. We have bands of marriage. So for the second time, we announced the intended marriage between Samson, Addo, Anson, ICGC, Holy Ghost Temple, Frafraha, and our sister, Cecilia Oye Danso, PIWC Atomic. Are they here, please? As they come up, we want to remind you the marriage will take place in this auditorium coming Saturday, the 13th of August. Time would be 10 a.m. 10 a.m. in this very auditorium. So we have our brother Samson and our sister Cecilia. If there is any reason why this marriage should not take place, please speak with our resident minister or any member of the leadership. In the absence of sin, please bear them up in prayers and on Saturday at 10 a.m., Let's all be here to support them as the Lord joins them together in marriage. God bless you. We have three funeral notices we want to remind ourselves of. The funeral of Elder Richard Ahin of the Anya district, who is the father of our sister, Mrs. Adelaide Edu, will take place on Saturday the 20th two weeks from now. The venue will be 10 plots park in Ablekuma, in Accra. Similarly, we want to announce that the burial and funeral of Mr. Kwabina Ousu, the father of our sister, Sheila, please come up. Sheila Odruwa Ousu of the Children's Ministry will take place in the Siakwa in the Eastern Region on Saturday, the 27th of August. And then we want to announce for the first time. They want to announce the home call of Madam Victoria Edith Adasi in July, who was the mother of our brother Eric and PJ. And so we want to introduce them so we can see them. The first one is our sister. Um, Mrs. Adley, they do, whose um, father's funeral comes off two weeks' time on the 20th in Anya or Ablekuma at the Templot Park. Then we have our sister, um, Sheila Ousu of the Children's Ministry. Her father's funeral will take place at the Siakwa on 27th, also in August. And then we have our brother, Eric, um, whose um, father, his mother's funeral will take place also on that 27th of August. The venue will be Presbyterian Church Salvation Congregation. 
we want members to kindly bear these um, brethren together. So we want members to bear them up in prayer and on 20th and 27th, let's be there to mourn with them even as they bury their parents. Thank you. You can have your seats. Now quickly, this week, for this week, we want to announce these activities. We have Kratos on Thursday. We have Redemption Hour on Wednesday in the morning at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Redemption Hour. Then Thursday, we have Kratos at 6 p.m. On Saturday, we have Mount Zion. Mount Zion prayers starting from 6 a.m. in this auditorium. But immediately we close from today's service. Permem and Women's Ministry will have their ministry meetings, the monthly ministry meetings. Women's Ministry will be in this auditorium and will be meeting with House of Mami, Mrs. Mary Nana Bamensa. Whilst Permem will be meeting with our resident minister, Pastor Tony Mensa. All men, please immediately we close. Let's move up to the youth auditorium. All ladies, please stay and let's have very effective meetings to the glory of God. We want to announce that our next water baptism will take place on Sunday, the 28th of August, after the service. So if you're a candidate, please prepare yourself. See the follow up team. Let them prepare you so that on that day, 28th, you can have the water baptism. All officers who are yet to have their photographs taken are reminded that today is the last day. The media team will be at the terrace to take those photographs. And then if you have not yet submitted your profile, please do so, so that we can have a complete information on you. God bless you all. We want to kindly invite our resident minister as... Oh, you want to give a clap of it to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today is also a gospel day. The word has been preached and says that the Lord will give grace for the next level. If you are backslidden, if you have not given your life to Jesus, just as Elijah was so much dejected, confused, and in a state where he was running. He got to a place, he said, I need God to revive me again. So he cried unto God, and God sent an emissary, heavenly emissary, to bring him help. This morning, we will not end this meeting if we don't give you an opportunity to give your life to Jesus. Who wants to give his life to Jesus? He will strengthen you again. If you are weak, in your walk with him. If you are backsliding or if you are backslided, there is an opportunity for you to come to him again. I want you to lift your hand if you want to give your life to Jesus. If you are watching us on Facebook or on YouTube, it's an opportunity for you. The Bible said that today, if you hear my voice, do not harden your heart. As in the day of rebellion. Who want to give his life to Jesus and say that God, here am I. Revive me again. Give me life again. Bring renewal and bring refreshment unto my spirit. Just show by hand so that we can pray for you. You can show by hand so that we pray for you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. If you are listening to us online and you, are, you want to give your life to Christ, I want to lead you to pray this prayer with me and your life will never be the same. If you raise your hand at the top there, you can rise to your feet by faith. If you are outside, you can rise your, to your feet by faith. You can lift your hand. And those of you on Facebook and on YouTube, you can place your right hand on your chest as you say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. Today, I come to you as a sinner, just as I am. Receive me, and I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I shall worship and follow you all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, if you pray this prayer, I want to assure you that you are a child of God. Your name has been written in the book of life, and no one can wipe it off the book. 
And so I want to encourage you to look for a Bible-believing church near your location. If you are in Accra and particularly live around Hachu, Atomic, Taifa, Domi, Achimota, East Legon, West Legon around, our church, PRWC Atomic, is located at Atomic off the, the police station, off the main road. Just come and then we shall worship with you and the Lord will bless you. Amen. Before I hand over the microphone to our area head to close us, we want to pray for our August born. It's a tradition. We do it every month. So if you are born in August, those of you upstairs on the gallery, right to your feet, and those of you in the main of the town, just walk in front here. And our fathers, August bonds are blessed. They have two great apostles here. Uh, so that our fathers will pray for them. If you are a visitor and you were born in August, you're going to celebrate your birthday in August, come forward. Come forward. Grace is being impacted in your spirit. All right. Shall we all be upstanding? Because as we pray for them, we will also take the benediction together. So, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, his mercy shall endure ever faithful and Hallelujah for his mercy. With a glass of mine, go let us win. Glass of mine, praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord for His kind. Praise the Lord for. got pregnant to be for nine months normally. And so by the eighth month, she's getting close to delivering life, mm. to delivering a testimony, mm. to delivering the desire of her heart. You were born in the eighth month. Hallelujah. May the Lord cause you to nurse and nurture a testimony ready to be born. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May you receive from the Lord as never before. Yes, Lord. May the Lord reveal himself to you in a special way. Yes, Lord. May he protect your going out and your coming in. Yes, Lord. And may this month continue to be a blessing for Jesus. you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And now shall we all stretch Lift up our hands and receive the benediction together with the eight August bonds. Now may the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord keep you. Amen. May the Lord protect you from every appearance of evil. Hallelujah. May no evil come near your tabernacle. Amen. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Yes, Lord. May he strengthen you. May yes, he Lord. nourish you. Yes, Lord. May he make you ready to walk in the strength of this food. Yes, Lord. All the days of your life, receive God's blessing for your life and for your family, even now, 
and forever. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you all. Next Sunday is one service starting at 8 a.m. And all the women we are waiting behind for our meeting.